Hello to everyone who is signed up to have classes with me this fall 2023 semester. I want to welcome you and uh, provide a few minutes here talking about some of the key technologies we'll be using over the next 16 weeks. We're going to be using the virtual classroom, uh, which is a Moodle for primarily hosting course content and uh, the assignments. So at any point throughout the semester, you'll be able to access uh, the assignments, the grades. Uh, you'll be able to check your overall grades as we progress throughout the semester. So it's very important to periodically go through and double check, making sure that you're current with the assignments and also that you're aware of the grade that you have, again, throughout the semester. The idea is to know exactly how you're standing throughout the semester so there are no surprises in terms of your grades. To give you an idea of the virtual classroom, make sure that you're able to sign in. This is one of the three classes that I have this semester. But again, make sure that you're able to access this either with the mobile app. So you can access the same platform, the same space using your cell phone, using the app, or using your phone, you can also use your browser to access the same information. So it depends on the layout, your preference in terms of how it looks, how you can navigate throughout the information. But there is an option to use a dedicated app that you can install on your mobile device to access the virtual classroom. Or again, you can use a browser. Now, the other piece of technology we'll be using is Microsoft 365. We're going to be using Microsoft Teams, which is within the Microsoft 365 suite and also different apps within uh, the suite that extend beyond uh, Teams, okay? So that might include Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. It might include Sway. We'll be using Forms throughout the semester. So make sure that you can access your Microsoft 365 account. Also make sure you can get into Outlook your email. Now, what I would recommend everyone to do is to add the Edu account email, Microsoft 365, using your Edu username and password, and add it to your phone so that you can receive automatically the emails. You can access the emails from your phone, from your mobile device, if you receive any emails in your Microsoft 365 account. So we'll spend some time at the beginning of uh, the semester to clarify any doubts that you have, but I would go ahead and make sure that you're able to receive those because a lot of times notifications will occur in Microsoft 365. And if you don't have that installed on your cell phone, then you may not get that notification. Sometimes the announcements, for example, in Microsoft Teams will get uh, uploaded, posted there, and uh, you want to make sure that you get those, get those notifications. Now, Microsoft Teams also has a dedicated app that I would install on your cell phone. So that's another app that I would have uh, so that anytime that you want to reach out to me and send me a message, I would suggest that you send me a chat within Teams as opposed to sending me an email. You're likely to get a quicker response if we can correspond back and forth through the chat feature in Microsoft Teams. Okay, and also we'll have, this is what it looks like on the desktop app, but any announcements that I send to the whole group will also occur here within Microsoft Teams. And any shared files will also be accessible within the Teams app. And again, you can install this app on your phone and have the access uh, accessibility as it appears here on the desktop. Uh, you'll be able to, uh, you should be able to navigate around the course content equally in, uh, in your, on your cell phone. So the third piece of technology that we'll be using quite a bit throughout the semester is RemNote. And uh, one of the first things we'll do is visit the Getting Started with RemNote as a Student uh, page or document. And uh, this is just a very quick tutorial how to get started. But if you haven't already, I would go ahead and create your own account in RemNote. You can include or you can use your own username and password, or you can sign in with a uh, Google account. Or I think you also have the option of signing in as 
uh, with your Apple account, if you have an Apple account, it's up to you how you want to do that. But I would suggest that you create an account that you're able to sign into RemNote so that you have the option of, of sharing or saving, I should say, saving notes that I share with you. A lot of the course content that I'm going to be providing you, my the lesson activities, my planning, a lot of the interactions and things we discuss in our classes are going to be posted to RemNote throughout the semester. So if you sign in, you're going to have an option to save anything that I post in RemNote to your own personal RemNote account. And you might find that useful. Maybe it's something that you want to copy over to your own account and then add to or maybe leave notes to yourself. Maybe use some of that information as the basis for a study aid. And as we get into RemNode and we learn more about it, you'll find that there's some other features that you might find useful. For example, flashcards. They have a very robust flashcard feature so that you can create um, concepts. You can create a list of words or word uh, or just concepts that you have uh, that you create definitions for. And uh, you can use the flashcard feature in RemNote to quiz yourself, to review the information. And um, it's something that I think you'll find very useful, not only in our own class that we're going to be taking this semester, but also in any of the classes that you take or will take going forward. All right, so basically, those are the three technologies we'll be using. The virtual classroom will use the Microsoft 365 suite and also RemNote. Depending on the class, there'll be some other technologies that we perhaps will use throughout the semester, but we'll get more into that as, as we get into the class. So again, I want to welcome you to the 2023 fall semester, and I look forward to getting started.